Brian, can you walk us through exactly what the case is and what is going on? Good morning, Tessa. Well, as of now, the retirement age for Supreme Court judges in Poland has been lowered from 70 to 65. In effect, that means that 27 out of the 72 Supreme Court judges in Poland face early retirement, including, you said it, the first president of the court, Magwazasta Gerstow, uh, who called this a purge and vowed that she would continue working today and until the end of her term in 2020. But this is not the first law of its kind. It's part of a larger set of reforms reforms that have been enacted since 2015 uh, on, on the justice system in uh, Poland. The government, as you said, says that, that this is necessary to fight against corruption and to uh, to reform a system inherited from so uh, from communist times. But critic, uh, critics uh, say that uh, these reforms hurt the independence of the judiciary, the rule of law, and that effectively the uh, court system in Poland is now under the control of uh, politics. Tessa? And clearly, Brian, Brussels has not been happy with Poland uh, over a few months now. How have they reacted to this? Well, on Monday, they uh, started an infringement procedure against Poland because of this uh, Supreme Court law, uh, that which could lead uh, to a European Court of Justice decision and financial penalties uh, against Poland. But because of all the laws that I mentioned earlier that have been enacted over the last three years, in December, the European Commission uh, launched what's called the Article 7 procedure, which is the most powerful tool at the disposal, which in theory could lead to uh, uh, stripping Poland from its voting rights in the European Council, which represents the uh, member states. But clearly, the European Commission wants to continue dialogue with Poland. And sources here in Brussels tell me that there's a real worry about these reforms, not just because of democratic principles and principles of the rule of law, but because if you hurt the independence of the judiciary, uh, it could hurt the cooperation in judicial matters, and it could also hurt investments in Poland, in Poland whereas the government just sees this as an ideological dispute.